It can't be that bad, oh, 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 it can't be that bad. Had some weird people weird come in. Come I on, did man. get this from a literal crackhead at that bar. Oh, man. Was you, you got something from a crackhead that you kept? Yeah, go ahead. Pull that, pull that string. We recording? Because I want to. I, I need to get this Yeah, that's all recording. So this one says, pull the magic knob. Shout out to my local Vallejo crackheads. <laughs> 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 so that's when I first got this crackhead. house, when that's I first dope. bought this house, that was my housewarming gift. And I told this motherfucker. Respectfully. 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 This guy brought in a damn demon into the house. Because <laughs> well, my thinking that is. That shit's haunted for sure. This is a gated community built in the last 20, 30 yeah, years. Yeah, let's say 20 years. Um, so there's definitely no ghosts here. I mean, this better. This is better than a bottle of tequila for me. I, you I really? Can use, yeah. I can show this off. You the can tequila's have it. gonna go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't really want it. You can't give him the clown demon I gave you. Yeah, nah, I don't want this. This this nostalgic right here. It's That's, it's it's straight. It's, from it's a it's something. a weak ass Jack in the can. But other than that, I mean, I don't even essential. know. Like, it's definitely not name brand. Like it's yeah. not it's not a Mattel ain't, Jack, Jack ain't, in the ain't, ain't no can. barcode on this. Ain't no, nobody you're not selling it, out. man. It's I'm, like that's a scary thing. Melissa has <laughs> wanted me to put it up there because that shit is terrifying. I think you know y'all can't, you, y'all can't keep this in the bedroom. No hell no, <laughs> man. They had one time and shit was flying across the walls and shit. They had to take it down. Uh, the people from Insidious want to want to buy it. Uh, let me <laughs> let me just say, don't ever underestimate the ability of what a crackhead can sell you. My boy just got some AirPods for sixty dollars today. AirPod the twos. I don't know mm-hmm, if there's yeah. two. He sixty from a crackhead. From a crackhead. Hey, they're late. Hey, they look plastic still on. That's very bold really? of you to think that I purchased that because he forced me to keep it. Um, <laughs> because I, it was haunting his crack house. Well, I don't know what yeah, it was. That, that, I, I mean, that's crazy. He came in. I literally the guy who gave that to me one time. He was at the bar and was like, uh, "Hey, you want to see something?" And I was like, "Okay." And he reached in his pocket and pulled out the biggest crack rock I've ever seen in my life. It looked how like... How many crack rocks have you seen? Yeah, that's a good... That's a fair question. That, how many? The biggest crack rock? <laughs> I, well, it doesn't matter because even if I had only seen It was none, a big one. It was I'm this tall. It was like this fat. It looked like one of Superman's crystals uh-huh. from the Christopher Reeves ones that he throws. Like, it was <laughs> yeah. a thick... Right, and I was like, oh, c- Cool. That's how you responded? Well, I mean, like, what am I? I'm not going to be like, not, let me have some. I don't want to be too excited because yeah, then he's going right. to think I want it. Like, how do you show love to a crackhead that got a beautiful crack rock? Yeah. I mean, he's fine. He was a nice guy, very polite. I, yeah. I have no problems well, with him. He, but he just is your fear that, if you showed too much excitement that he would want to be like, you want to smoke this in the back? Yes. Uh, because he wouldn't. Sh- okay, let's be real. Would a crackhead share his crack? Yeah, if he Ooh, gave. Yes, he would. That's a great question. I don't think so. No, he'd make he, you pay but, up for it. But, but if he had that much crack, why wouldn't he? He's showing it off. I think he was also kind of halfway, maybe hoping I would like buy some from him. Yeah, um, yeah, maybe that. But, I some, but that. somewhere in the middle of being like, yeah, we'll go smoke a little, and then you'll buy some from me because you know I have so much. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a flexing thing. Like, hey, hey that, I got all this money. You want a shot? You want a shot? You know, I'm like, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm splurging right now. I got all this crack rock on me. And I know, on, I know, like... when people look at me, they just like, I just scream crack addict. Like, I just like, I look like the kind who just loves crack. But it's, you have sunglasses on. We don't know what's behind there uh, because there could be like crack. That, that's what it is. It's, it's, it's in the face. It's in the face. It's in the face. It's, you know what? I grind my teeth a lot and scratch a lot. It's, it's, mm. it's, I, okay, you're right. You're right. But, I mean, uh, you'd be much more like, nah, uh, you don't look like a crackhead. You'd be way more gaunt and skinny. I think, honestly, my reaction was like, nah, I don't smoke that. But, I mean, if you have anything else. You know what it'd be? <laughs> it would be, you wouldn't be a crackhead. You'd be a person who smokes crack. Oh, nice. Uh, a crackhead is different. Yes. You just, you're like a functional crack addict. Like that one professor from Harvard who's like, yes, I do heroin, but I'm not addicted. It, I just do it every day. It, 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 I'm just like, I think you're addicted to heroin, I man. Think, I think you're, you're a heroin <laughs> addict. <laughs> but if you do crack once, do people ever just do crack once? I, I think feel so, like, yeah. I think there are some strong-willed individuals who have have to done crack well. Okay, I'll say this. I think you just, can do crack once. As a black man growing up in a crazy neighborhood, uh-huh. I have been to a trap house yeah. where I've, been, I've bought certain things at, but not crack. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. I have seen functioning crack addicts. Like, yeah, like, like sure. I just got off of work and I'm coming to get my fix. 
Yeah. It's the craziest thing in the world. You're like, it's it 10.30 is, in the morning, dude. Like, it's actually <laughs> way more common than you think. Uh, like, uh, high-functioning drug addicts. Yeah. I had, like, uh, a few of my best friends, they lived in Santa Cruz. They lived at this uh, near the beach in Santa Cruz. And their next-door neighbor mm. was this rich guy named Jeff, this very successful guy. Shout out, Jeff. And he was a huge meth addict. Like just Meth. Meth. Well, meth, uh, if you play meth right. Now, nah, don't say well meth. I'm just going to say, well, 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 defending meth over here. people who can play meth right, and they're just like really good at hanging drywall. That but you all... but it's a very slippery slope to losing your construction job and because you love meth. I'm, yeah. Now, that is one point of reference that I have not considered that I'm not mad at. <laughs> yeah. These houses are getting built very fast. And that's what I'm saying. I mean, you've never seen a sad crackhead. No. I know, I know multiple functioning uh, cocaine addicts. I mean, mm -hmm. a high functioning alcoholic too is also very impressive it's, sometimes. It's very impressive. You're like, you are running the state of California. Well done. You, you got it. It's kind of insane. I mean, like, I I don't know. The the fact that Vallejo's an interesting place because this is where you met a bunch of crack addicts. Vallejo's yeah. an interesting place because I'm, on the other end, there's hella talented motherfuckers out there. Vallejo, there are more crack and meth, crack and meth people in Benicia. I also I, believe I, I, don't, I don't even yeah, yeah, we could talk about that because I don't know a lot of meth heads. No. The first time I ever yeah, I, went to, I went to I went to high school. Shout out Jesse Bethel and we used to catch. Uh, I'm a North Vallejo kid. The Crest bus, mm -hmm, so it picks mm -hmm. us up in North Vallejo at the Crest. It's right across the street from King Supermarket, a well-known corner store in Northern California. Mm -hmm. The first time well I known ever for what? Hang on, tell the people who aren't from California uh, what's well known for. Music videos, <laughs> uh, de deli sandwiches. A King Supermarket sandwich is great. Deli sandwiches, music videos, and other um, losing and, your iPhone if you and, pull and it out. Inexplicable things. You feel me? Can't miss it always. On if you camera. check a text message, it's gone. The Crest is the best place in Vallejo. Yeah, that's the place too. It's be. beautiful. It's beautiful. Great Thai food. It's beautiful. In the anyway, they got uh, waterfalls and shit. Uh, one, but as a as a young individual who never have smelt no crazy substance, the first time I ever thought I smelled crack was there because mm -hmm. I was like, it smelled like plastic is burning, and I don't know what that is, but. It's unnatural. It's, cra it's crazy raising, getting raised in a certain area because, like, I've never smelled that, but I know what that is. Yeah. Mm. Like, we're in the morning. It was like, yeah, somebody's smoking crack. And so every and the first question is, how do you know? Mm. Like, I don't. Wow. How you know that's being crack? I don't know, but that's what crack would smell like. You feel me? And I it's don't a think crazy, I've ever smelled crack before. But you, do mm. you know that? I, I think I have smelt burning plastic though. But, but, <laughs> I, I mean, but you never know until somebody tell you like, "Hey, bro, that's crack being smoked." Yes. And then you like, "Huh? Maybe oh, the connections." Huh. And so I had one of them moments. It was like, "Yeah, somebody's smoking some crack around here." I'm like, "Wait, how do you know for one, two? That doesn't sound implausible." That yeah. sounds very reasonable that the smell that is entering my it's, nose. It's the house that has no copper pipes. It that's, seems, that's yeah, where it's coming it's, from. It sounds crazy, but I'm just like, okay, I'm not going to doubt that. So, yeah, yeah, they're smoking crack over there. So, you know. I mean, like. Well, and crack and meth are like, you know, very similar. The difference is. Whoa. How do you know so much whoa. about this? Like, you, you were talking about, that's the largest crack rock I've ever seen. Well, meth, by the way. <laughs> you I, don't know, I don't know. I feel like meth is more zombie, and I've never seen a sad crackhead. Crackhead is like a, a upper. Yeah. yeah, crackhead yeah. is 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 Hulk. Crackhead turns certain people into like superheroes for a few seconds. You could do a backflip off a three story building and land. I, you're right. That's I'm never, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> very believable, you're man. It's very landing. <laughs> your your legs okay. are broken up to your knees. But, sure. feel but, now, but now, meth head doing the backflip off a three story building. They they can't. They, they're a pancake. The thing they're about dead. meth, I think, and, meth, and methamphetamines and amphetamines, mm. um, is it gives you the confidence and the like idea. That you can do stuff, mm. right? Whether you do it well mm -hmm. or correctly is a whole different thing. Um, it's a placebo effect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It definitely gives you... How and can also, you do math well? Also, <laughs> I'm really good at taking math, man. I'm, who, I'm good at doing math. Those construction I don't, I don't, workers who hang drywall... I don't fall into the mirage of <laughs> meth. But, I do math know. because it helps me get the job done. <laughs> it's a means to an end. Hey, I, they're functioning crack addicts. I mean, but hang on, we're making all these jokes, but Adderall and that that is a literal meth that is legal Oh, that's meth. true. And it's, so it's, we know people Yeah, we know people who do it and like take it and like, yeah, I like finished my taxes today cuz I took my Adderall and it's like, "Oh, good good job." You know that's what's crazy amazing. that was legalized for a little bit with salvia. I remember uh Salvia was a psychedelic though. 
It was like that shit was in smoke shops. So like yeah, when when yeah. some of my homies would go into a smoke shop to go like get get a new pipe or get a new bong or get like get some papers, they'd be I, well, like, "You also want some salvia?" Hang on, we had the same friends who were buying salvia, and it wasn't like like I'm here for rolling papers. And he goes like, "But do you also want salvia?" They always went into the stores to for, buy salvia. For that. Yeah, yeah, because I was with them, and it was like we didn't like. Yeah, I went in to buy a bong, and the dude just sold me a bunch of salvia. Like you went in there to go buy salvia. Have you done salvia before? Yes. And what were your, what was your experience like? I thought the car turned into a carnival circus, like a carnival <laughs> oh, tent. Oh shit! And then the friend we had, we'll call him uh, Carhart. He was swiping at me, and he turned into like a circus robot. And I was trying to get out of the car, and all of the friends were holding me into the car because they didn't want me to get out. And then I felt like I was getting birthed out of this circus tent. And then uh, once I got out of the car, I laughed harder than I ever had in my entire life. And the sun was really bright and happy and the birds were chirping. And then I was just in a great mood for literally four years after that. I was just happy. You're, Th- that's amazing. I don't know. He shouldn't be selling salvia, meth, or I, crack like I'm about to say, doing. when I talk to him, he's great. He's a great spokesman. <laughs> he's like, a salesman I, for just, the wrong just, things, it, dude. That just sold me. Ever since we started recording, he was selling that demon fucking crack baby clown thing. It, it just sold me. <laughs> I'm ready to take the clown home. I'm ready to Hit some salvia. Honestly, <laughs> I'm ready to, I'm ready I'm to do to meth. Say, and crack. I'm, ready, I'm gonna say meth over crack in my book. So and, you and then you walk, and then behind your back, I'm just like, wow, man, he really jumped off the diving board deep, yeah. huh? Like, dude, woof. people are gonna say, man, like we turned some of the waves into a major crackhead, and just into a drug addict. <laughs> wow, it's but, like but, you don't know what it is, and then they look back like, it was I this will podcast. say, shout out to salvia because it was, <laughs> it was a phase I never used it, but shout out to them because those were some of the craziest YouTube videos. Whoa. Oh, what people would post themselves on salvia, brother. Oh my, yeah. that's, the, that's the reason I learned about it because I had one of the homies, bro, you know what Salvia is? Always white people. You know what Salvia is? You know what Salvia is? I'm like, nah, I ain't never heard about that. What's that? Go on YouTube, Salvia hit 720XP, HD, yeah. XD, rah, rah, on whatever. Mm-hmm. Man, I done seen some motherfuckers jump out windows. I done what? seen dudes see imaginary people. Yeah. Like, it's, it's trippy. They it's pretty s- trippy. They said, I don't know how true it was, but it is 10 times more intense than any like mushroom or acid trip. Mm-hmm. But it's for like three minutes. Yeah, it's yeah. very intense it's for that that, for that snapshot. That. Oh, I and, done it. And I, I done it once. Wait, wait, wait. I done, wait, wait, I done wait, it once. Yeah, yeah. Did you see how, how you put say, that on me? You like you're like, like you're not talking about this from experience, brother. Well, because no, this is what I'm, I know. I know. I wanted to Why see what everyone else was doing, dude. Like no, I was just. Why'd you have to no make, one asked, man. You've definitely done no it. No one asked. You've definitely what, done it. Why do you have to point at me? I asked, "Have you ever done salvia?" And you answered, and then no one asked it back. You stood up with the microphone and boom. There was no rebuttal. There was no rebuttal. Yeah, I mean, I done because my. Because we had the same friends. Yes. And my mindset was, <laughs> I was thinking, like, this is legal. Said, bro, that was the same weekend, bro. <laughs> he was in the car. Dude, because uh, this is always, okay, since salvia was legal and then weed wasn't and I was already smoking weed, I was just like, okay, this is taking a step back. This is actually more appropriate. Uh, but I always remember. Until it, the walls started melting. And I was just like, I'm never. <laughs> yeah, that's too much. I'm never doing this. As soon as, I, as soon as I found out about salvia was when they were trying to get it illegal. Yeah, that makes sense that they should they should have yeah legalizing it be. salvia. So, so that so, so I crazy. didn't know about it before. Especially people are jumping out windows and whatnot. Anything I hear, if it's a synthetic drug, that is it's man made. Yeah. That's that's wild. That means well, men are putting shit in this to get you fucked up on purpose. Yeah. Yes, I that's had a crazy. friend who's mom, dangerous. Whose mom caught him smoking weed, so he was smoking that fake weed, the K two and shit like that. Oh, what is it? a spice? Spice. What? And I a, smoked it with him a couple a whole of times. Another phase. Oh, oh my dude, yeah. what is spice? spice? So spice was after salvia. Yeah, yep. It was like the sequel to spice salvia. Was, it's like well, no, a, no, 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 not at all. It's, it's like it's a, fake weed. It's fake. It's fake. It's a synthetic weed that you can't get tested for. No, nope, it doesn't it, smell. It would get you high. It doesn't smell. But the the it looks like tree bark. Oh, it's dude, wild. It looks many, brother. <laughs> what? It looks so crazy, bro. I'm like a, I'm about to break. I'm about to break yeah, some news get, right here. So I was with a buddy one time. We were smoking smoking that at. Vista Point, right by the bridge. What you smoking it too? Yeah. Oh yeah, the spice. Fa- yeah, spice face. We were both. Well, I we mean, salvia face, spice <laughs> face. We was high. <laughs> we was out here high. Fuck, I hate this. Episode. I'm sending this episode, episode straight to, to your my mom. mother. <laughs> ah! um, Mama. <laughs> so he, because he had gotten caught and was like, I can't smoke weed or whatever. He's like, and so we'll smoke this instead. And I was like, Ah, whatever. Live. Sure, I'll smoke whatever. Sure, why not? And I remember we smoked it, and then a cop came, and the cop rolled up on us, and he blocked us in the parking in the parking spot, and he came up to the window. But because it was spice, it didn't have a smell, mm-hmm. and the smell didn't stick. Whoa! And so he's looking around at us, and he, he knows we're here in a parking lot in a park after dark, way after dark, when we're not supposed to be there. He's like, "Y'all burning incense over here?" <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he literally said, "Like, 
I don't know what you guys are doing out here, but you're not supposed to be here and leave. And then we're leaving, and then I, and then I turned to my buddy and I was like, I think he thought we were blowing each other. Because <laughs> like he didn't. It, it would have been one thing if he came up to us and we rolled down the windows and all this smoke came out. Right. And that's one thing. Or if he came up to us and I'm like, oh, uh, oh. Uh. But like the fact that he didn't <laughs> like, like figure it out, he was just like. Just like, get out of here, you like, sickos. Hey, I don't know what the fuck's happening, but <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. I don't know. But you're not supposed to be here anyway, so get out of here. And wow. so we just like left. Because if it was anything else, you would have gotten in trouble. I feel like if, even if we were smoking tobacco, the uh -huh. smell would have stuck around. Right. And So you know, moral of the story is if you want to get away with shit and be high, is do spies. I see now that's you doing that. <laughs> I'm kidding, dude. Get yeah, away. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, get away. See, All that right. one was... I'm at, I thought my story was more against Spice. <laughs> All right. Before, also, Spice ruins people. I, I could imagine that. Your uh, lungs. Before this podcast turns into a podcast mainly just about, like, about drugs. synthetic drugs, drugs and defending uh, crack you like uh, and salvia, uh, <laughs> let's get into introducing our guest yeah. because we have a very special guest up in the motherfucking studio. Come on. So, and it's been a long time coming that let's, this should happen. Come but on. we got the host of the What's the Wave podcast. Come on, keep plugging. We got... Son, Son of the, of the Waves, waves. Going. up in the motherfucking studio, yeah. a.k.a. Dylan, <laughs> a.k.a. Mr. Waves, a.k.a. Senor Waves. Uh, dude, Yo, welcome yeah. to the motherfucking podcast. Much love, much love. It can't be that bad here yeah, because uh, they didn't treat me to wonderful hospitality. We tried. Um, I'm, in, I'm in a great area. Just mm -hmm. know that I ain't going to uh, drop the location or drop the pin, but I'm in a great area. It's a sunny day here in my city, Vallejo, California. You That's feel right. me? Yeah, I right. love. Um, and I'm excited to be here. Like you said, it's been a long time coming. We've been showing a lot of love just on the socials and stuff yeah. like that. So it's always fun as we talk beforehand to be a podcaster as a guest. Mm -hmm. I don't got. I ain't got no questions prepped. I get to sit back. I get to drink my drink. Yep. Yep. You're and straight I, chilling. I'm chilling. So yeah, it's, it's, it's fun being on the other side of the microphone. Isn't so. it kind of wild, like uh, having this kind of uh, rapport through social media and then yeah. moments right before meeting each other and then meeting the other person and being like, I feel like I've met you already. Legit. Because I'm, we've seen each other on the screens of our phones. I've had already. that um, through this journey as being a podcaster with with fans, with guests. Mm -hmm. um, two, I could really share that just literally happened just recently. I was at at the job. And I had a customer come in. I work in customer service. She came in. She said, I didn't know you was famous. Wow. I said, I said what? She said, oh, yeah, you be doing the things with, uh, shout out Podcast Bree. She was like, you doing the, I bought a Kai clip off Podcast Bree. So I followed her. Mm -hmm. And then I followed you. I just love what y'all doing. I, and left it at that. I was mm -hmm. like, cool. Other day, I'm doing a foodie feature. And a lady walked by. I've never met this lady. She literally walked by, tapped me on the shoulder. Hey, what's the way? Miss mm. Miss Lady, I don't even know you, Shawty. Like, if what I was a great like, wow. like, so it's oh. it's those moments that are very gratifying. Um, I'm pretty sure y'all have experienced those in your own right, but oh, yeah. it's 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 You're great. Bay Area famous, man. I'm trying to be. You got some. You I'm have you be. have some hard hitting peeps up on your podcast. I try. I'm trying to grow, bro. Yeah, dude. It's a beautiful thing, but you know, you had people like you got Barbara Rome on the podcast. Oh yeah, shout out who was a homie. staple of Vallejo, man, for sure. Still is. Homeboy dated my cousin. Wow. Yeah, and my cousin <laughs> broke his heart. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, and now I'm I, mad at my cousin because Barbara <laughs> Rome's a dope ass motherfucker. Right, you could have had a whole shop, Shawty. Like, and he gave me the freshest cut. Hey, brother got blends. He brother does, got and blends. does it fast while conversing and yeah. like you know, and it's not, it's it's. He gave me the hot towel treatment. Shout out Barbara Rome. Yeah, shout out to Barbara uh, Rome. I actually, when he had the Barber IV Lounge on Sonoma, yep. by Starbread, mm -hmm. I used to get cut. Uh, my name is Dylan. I used to get cut by my homeboy Dylan. Mm. So shout oh, out, shout out Barber Lounge. Dill, Dill was getting cut by Dill. It was great. Barber Lounge was dope. That oh, was like sure. one of the first. Uh, they were selling vapes at that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> right when you walk into the right, it was a vape shop That's and hard. a barber shop. And at night, they also like promoted events and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't 21 yet, so I couldn't like be. I could. I would get, be getting cut over yeah. there, and they'd be like saying like, "Hey, what are you doing later? You should come through. Like, well, we're promoting this and that." that I'm like, hard. I can't even drink. <laughs> uh, like, I'm bring a star bread. The thing is, you had the end though. You could have been like, "Yeah, let me, yeah, let's go." And then, yeah, and at the age of sixteen, I already looked forty, so I could have just gone anywhere. Damn, I, don't be something. saying that. Dude, oh man, I was an old looking motherfucker, you, man. As a youngin, yeah, I had a, like a prepubescent mustache, I had a unibrow before like any girl told me like, "Hey, that." See, I that was, doesn't look good. I was the opposite, bro. I didn't get peach fuzz till like tenth, eleventh grade, bro. Like I had this, but none of this. Man. I was a late bloomer. But it's really coming through late now. Bloomer. You got a whole... That's why I keep it, bro. That's why I hold on, because it took so long for me to get it. Uh -huh. I, I like I, the I, Ramses, the fair, great pharaoh of Egypt you got going I on here. I appreciate that. So I say I'm a goat because I got a goatee. You mm -hmm. feel me? That's one part nice. of it. Uh, but I never say... <laughs> I work with kids as well. I hate when they say I got a beard. I don't. 
Uh-huh. I, know, I got the little chin strap, woo, woo, but they see this and they like, oh, you got a beard? No. You, I, you, don't, don't you get mad up. when people call it a beard? Yeah. That's a compliment, man. I will take it as that. Yeah, I'll say that. I'll take it as that. But I, I know, I know better. Okay. I know better. You know, I've seen real beards. Come, I've seen it. Come on, but I ain't got no soda baby. I ain't got no James <laughs> Harden. You feel me? I ain't got a beard. Beard. Like he wants me, me to grow my beard back. Once upon a time, I have. I, I see the shadow. I'm like a rare Filipino. This two days, man, without without shaving. Bro, brother, see why he should be growing a beard? Hey, he could be for mm. his people. He could be doing a lot. But guess what? The he only people that compliment me about my beard are men. straight men. Are straight men? Yeah. yeah. No straight female has ever like my fiance. Yeah. Hated the beard. Word. Yeah, she hated it because it like it comes out. Are, are you are you familiar with the video game Dynasty Warriors? Not too much. Well, Dynasty Warriors is this old like hack and slash video game with a bunch of Chinese generals, and they all had stringy mm, beards. Mm. I look like one of them Chinese generals. Oh, it's no, stringy. you don't. No, <laughs> it's, it's not. Stringy. If, if it's stringy and thin, like yeah, we don't need you looking like General uh, yeah. Yuzo out yeah. here. Like you feel me? Like yeah, we don't need you looking like, <laughs> like, like like Avatar Izo. You feel me? Like we don't need none of that. No, it looked good from a distance. No, but from a distance. No, you had it. You just didn't give it its chance to thicken <laughs> up. Man, no. they they got all the beard oils and the shit too. They got derma roll. I Look, know exactly how it is. You can do the whole thing. If, I was thinking about trying to fill it in, but I'm like, nah. I no. got the chin strap. This, the little straggly, I'll leave it there. No, yeah, you got a good look going on right now. Yeah, you're you're, you're hella fitted, coming through with some pattern socks. So, I come through. I got Yetis on my socks right now. Nice. That's what that is. You feel me? Yeah. It's summertime, but we got Yetis and on And a socks. good company hoodie. Always, yeah. Shout out GC, well, baby. Well, which brings us back to Vallejo. Born and raised in Vallejo? Uh, so oh, born, oh. mainly raised, I will say this, I'll always be honest, when I was about three years old, mm. for whatever reason, my parents decided to move to Reno, Nevada. Oh. So I spent my elementary school years out there. And then during middle school, uh, decided to come back and I've been back ever since. So, but nice. definitely the years that made me have been in the home city of Vallejo. For now sure, that makes for sense. Sure. Mm-hmm. Well, what was it like growing up, uh, in Reno? D- b- different. Uh, I always say there, it was a culture shock. Coming sure. back, coming back out here, uh-huh. out in Reno, the majority of the demographic was uh, Latinos and Caucasians, okay, Mexicans and white people. Let me just say it like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't understand, like I said. But other what? than that, it was it was different. So, elementary school, I was popular by default. Wow. I always say that, like I'm one of five black kids in the whole school, so they know it's it's Mark with the fro. It's Jason, with, who's taller, and it's with little, and it's, and it's Dylan with the long hair and light skin, who look uh-huh. like little bow wow type. Shit. Like, even, <laughs> so I grew up with braids and shit, so it was a lot different. Um, it was cool. I've always accepted and been blessed for my upbringing because it gave me a lot of perspective. Mm. I've seen a lot of walks of life, a lot of different paths and stuff. So I'm very accepting, and I understand a lot. Like I love different stereotypes and stuff because I understand kind of both sides of certain shit. Yeah, I'd be like, I get it though, cause I was I was raised as a white boy, like legit. <laughs> I was raised as a white boy. I never I never said nigga until I was like thirteen, bro. Like <laughs> like type shit like that. Like what did it I, feel like when you first said it? You're just like I I had right. I had to know how to drop it. You feel me? I had to know how to drop it off. You well, feel Christian, me? what did it feel like the first time you said no, it? No, I didn't. <laughs> Stop! What the fuck? <laughs> this guy's trying to just get me canceled right now. It's beautiful. Uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I sometimes Filipinos get the pass. But, no, I don't think. But, I don't think so. But like, even uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll even tell this funny story. I had I was a big <laughs> WWE fan growing up. Nice. Uh, WWE. That's fan. something we can for see, sure talk look, about. I see. Too. Look, I'm gonna take it right where he said. He said, look. I had I was I was black and I had singles, so I had <laughs> they looked like locks. So some of my best friends growing up. Shout out Jesse. Shout out Christian. My favorite here. Uh, not, not heroes. Wrestlers growing up. Jeff Hardy, Rey, Hell yeah. Rey Mysterio, all that. Nice. So I'm like, yeah, I'm Rey Mysterio. He's like, nigga, you Booker T. <laughs> I was gonna and say, I was like, bro, Because if you what? have that hair, that's Booker T. He said, nah, bro, you Booker T. Where is that? And they used to tease me like type shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. And I never let it, like, it never got under my skin. I never took it personally. But I had a white friend who would kind of play with the N-word a little bit. Whoa. He'd be like, bro, I'm going to call you that. And, and, what? And, he thought he had a pass? But at the time, like, I, I didn't I even guess. know how to time at, how to defend it. Mm-hmm. Like, don't say that to the point to where, like, I'm going to tell my mama. Mm-hmm. Or don't say that to the point where I'm going to beat your ass. Sure, or don't sure. say that to where, like, we're going to play fight. And don't then, say it. Yeah. And then we're going to be Rey Mysterio and John Cena again. Sure. Yeah. You know? So it's kind of one of those things, like... Nigga, do I let you let mm-hmm. that off or or not? And I had a friend, but it now it's all shits and giggles. He never meant it in no like malice way or malicious yeah. way. But, you told me like you get ten. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Gave him a number. You get nah. ten until the day you die. I said, as I'm older now, I'd be like, bro, let that shit off. 
Mm-hmm. Because sure. as a kid, you wanted to so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you wanted to say so bad. So now that we're going, I'd be like, but say it now. He'd be like, nah, bro, nah. nah. I'd be like, nah, you want to, you, I was Booker T back then, nigga, yeah. like, yeah, nigga. I got four left. I, I, I still have four well, left. You feel me? I was say, I wanted to be right mysterious. Like, nah, you Booker T. I uh, see, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, people then. thought it called me Rikishi. <laughs> <laughs> I, I apologize and for that. And those people, I'm going to find them and I'm going to rub my ass on them just yeah, like the Kishi did. As you should. My brother always liked the cooler of the duos and like growing up in Power Rangers and wrestling and stuff. So he always liked Jeff Hardy, which left me to like Matt Hardy. I feel uh-huh. that. I feel uh, which that. he's cool too, but also like. He's not Jeff. He's not the cool one. He's not I Jeff. was always left to like the lame one. <laughs> no, that's fine though. I mean, that's me. That's Matt anyone Hardy, with an older brother. Matt Hardy was cool when he broke character. When Lita went with Edge, mm. and he was like, "Lita, you slut!" You remember that episode? You dirty bitch! <laughs> you remember when <laughs> yeah. like security came and they're trying to take the mic out of his hand? He said, "You broke my fucking heart!" And like, oh. it's crazy how dramatic uh, wrestling was. Bruh, well, because sometimes bruh. it's not acting; sometimes it's real, and sometimes Lita it's not. and Edge had a whole sex scene. They had a yes. bed in the ring. Yes, I remember staying up till ten o'clock. Yes, I said, "Nick, I'm not missing this Monday Night Raw." Wait, what happened on the bed? And bro, the they ring? had a they bed in the ring. They were fake fucking. How do and you fake fuck in front of? And this brother, is live. This is in front of fans. This, this, fr- this is in front of a stuff. stadium. Yeah. It wasn't even a pay per view. Not even. No. Can you it imagine was just like a Monday Night Raw? But they had a bed in the ring. They threw basically all they did was throw the covers over them. They wrestle. They flip the covers over. Edge pull some panties off. Throw them. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Pull the covers back over. Ba 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 ba. Wrestle. Edge pull the bra off. Throw them. Wow. And I'm like, nigga, they over here. Nigga, this is live porno. <laughs> this is live porno. They what? fucking fuck. And there's like 13 year olds in the audience, oh, right? Oh, I'm, Listen, nigga, I'm 10. There's there a are make, 10 watching There's a make a wish kid in the nigga, front row. <laughs> nigga, they fucking. What? In my this mind, you can wild. tell me Edge didn't eat that. Yeah, you can't tell me that. To. What are they just talking under Wait, the cover? Can you oh, imagine? Yeah, we totally nigga, got nigga, them all fooled. Nigga, if, if Rita didn't like it, she would have swan time bombed on. Like, <laughs> come on, bro. It would only been appropriate. Yeah. What do you think the boardroom meeting in the back was like when so, they're landing? Just, this? They're just like one hundred and two, one hundred. That's why I question Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon. He is either an evil genius or just a pervert. It's one of the two, both. and there He's might both. be a balance. He's yeah. easily both. I don't know how thick that line is, but mm-hmm. brother, the shit. He, Vince McMahon got away with saying nigga on air. Oh, did you say it? Like, I know you yes, remember that. He, yes. he said, "What's up, my nigga?" To who? Uh, to Booker T. To Booker T. To Booker T. With, with a do rag on. Yes. Booker, because Vince McMahon had a do rag on. Playing with this a, character, he was like, "Oh, he's like, I'm, I'm cool now. I'm hip hop now. I'm hip hop." He said, what, "What's up, my nigga?" And Booker T. said, he looked at his uh, show wife. I don't know how real that is, but uh-huh. I Queen remember of, that clip. And did they said, fight? Did he no, no, he just took it because Vince McMahon. He's the boss, man. Nigga, take this, nigga. Well, you know what? You know what? Is this clip still there? Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh you can find it. Holy shit! It's oh, on Peacock. It. Oh yeah, we can find that. Peacock. I will say this about put, put that up post production. <laughs> oh, definitely gonna put that. <laughs> up. I will say this about WWE slash WWF. They aren't trying to whitewash any of their history. My man. I will give them that. They have not scrubbed a single Chris Benoit fight. They haven't scrubbed the fight or like when. Uh, Owen Hart fell off the thing. Like when you watch at WrestleMania, it's all there. All of that like, accidents, th- all the shit. It's the video of Vince McMahon tearing both his quads. Oh, running in the, the Shane McMahon the tearing Shane, both of his quads. Shane McMahon tearing the, his shit. Kurt Angle breaking his neck. John Cena breaking his neck. All Brock these Lesnar ne- breaking his my neck. My nigga Undertaker don't jump over the ropes, and when he did that shit, he was like, "Yeah, I was not supposed to do that." I like, just—they're really crazy. just risking their lives. Out I just there. made my girlfriend watch the Royal uh, Rumble between. Uh, Mc- Mankind and You the made Rock. her watch it? I made her watch Because she came <laughs> home And I was watching it I didn't want to turn it off I was like You gotta watch this And in fact I actually wish I did turn it off Because The Rock Is so into his character And so into the heel character That he was uh-huh. He literally Beats Mankind Unconscious with a chair After hitting him 15 times with And, and then They fake the I quit you can tell that they faked the I quit because it's coming out of the speakers. Uh, and they both have said now that that's the only match that neither of them will watch. Yeah. Because it was just so brutal. It was too much. I mean, and do you remember being kids and trying to perform these moves on your friends? Yes, my brother Every day. tombstoned me so well, many you got, times. Do you Every have day. any siblings? Uh, I do. I have an older brother. And I have go. two older sisters, but... They didn't wrestle with you. They, yeah, my older brother didn't really wrestle with me. That was kind of just more of my homies and my peers. Uh-huh. But we definitely uh, had a section in our apartment complex where it was kind of like fenced off. So we treated it like ropes. Okay. Oh, and yeah. it was our it was our ring. And I will just say, my I'll, I'll even give you all my weakness. The fucking walls of Jericho. Oh! The walls of Jericho. Uh, if I had one. My, shout out my homeboy, Matt. And he was like, he was the taller kid out of everybody. And yeah. I was a shorter kid. 
And mm-hmm. Dil- everybody know Dylan not going to tap. You can put me in the cross face, oh F you, ankle God. lock. Dill not going to tap. That boy got me in that walls of Jericho. I thought Done. my back was going to fucking snap. <laughs> I said, like, I didn't, I didn't tap, but I start crying. But I didn't tap. <laughs> I didn't tap. I don't know what's better. But, I don't but, know. And he, he let me go. He said, I was like, ah, ah. You know, you know the eight-year-old crying. Yeah, I'm ah, ah, to the ah, ah, I can't walk. Ah. Oh I had one of those God. as a kid. I had one of those silent cries uh, yeah. where my mouth is just open. And yeah, then, just when nothing comes out. My family be like, is he breathing? Like, before we react, Not yet. is he breathing? Now he And is. then eventually it would come out, but... Uh. Oh my God! The walls of Jericho. I, I've had that done to me so many Horrible. times for my brother. Oh man! So I, I do also remember the house that I grew up in on Rose Drive in Benicia. Before we moved in, use a wait. Use a Rose Drive, baby. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, are you familiar with Rose Drive? Only that? because that's how we got to Benicia Skate Park, man. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. You, have you gotta to. go up. Hey, it's oh, the we, we took the long park. way. We the took longest, the long way. The busiest street for sure. Mm. Uh, we moved there when I was about four or five. But I remember we had some friends who were like, because I had a brother who's six years older than me, mm-hmm. and we had some friends who had two boys who were close to that age range. And before we moved in, they dropped us off at the house, and they went to go do whatever they did. And the four of us were in this giant house that had nothing in it. And so we just wrestled in the fucking living room for like a full, like literally like 12 hours. Yeah. Uh, and I'll just, I'll never forget it because it, you never got that chance again because immediately furniture is yeah. moved in, yep. tables are there and you can't, you know. There's but, only one or two of those moments that you get as a child where it's mm-hmm. just like oh, that whole day, it was no bars held. Running cross TLC, bars, TLC, hell in a cell. All of that cage matches. I think we made a fake belt too, because before, of course, you, before you had Target started selling. Well, Target started selling them at one Dude, point. Dude, when Target started selling, when you got one from the store, I got the spinner from Target. Oh, no. you got the one with the spinner. Yes. Don't tell me. Yes. You, see, Ned, you, you know we all hated you because yeah. you was the first motherfucker with the John Cena spin WWE belt. Hey, bro, yeah. I, I had John Cena's rap album. <laughs> Oh, you was oh, you was fan, fan, fan. I love John Cena. <laughs> My time is up. My time is now. Now, now. No, hey, I, I got a, I got a, uh, uh, I got a doctorate in thugonomics. Dude, it's you crazy he that, that he rapped, no, man. Okay, I'm about to, I'm about to take a piss. Just, right. yeah, only, go, go. only cause he just said I got a doctorate in thugonomics. <laughs> I'm being on that. I was, I was holding it till then. I was. <laughs> John said, I'm, and I'm gonna go to the downstairs one because I also okay. generally pee during an episode. Oh, okay. Uh, do you ever still get nervous when you have guests on, or like, because it seems like you just walking in, you just you you got oh. you're on, you're in the pocket like immediately. I will say certain guests, I do feel uh, a little bit more to deliver with. Uh-huh. Um, one recently, shout out my boy Dave Steezy. Uh huh. Um, only because like, since I've been in this podcast game, I'm now sitting in rooms I never thought I'd be in, mm. in a sense. So. Um, and he's not like a major crazy worldwide known artist, but he's definitely well known around the Bay Area. But for me to be slapping a person's music for like nine, ten plus years sure. and then have him on a pod- podcast, Man. it was kind of one of those things where I was like, I felt myself the first couple questions or like during the intro and stuff. I was like, OK, I'm a little giddy right wow. now. I'm a little giddy. But then I, I was able to settle in. I was like, Dill, this, you belong here. Yeah. It was one of those moments. So every now and again, I do have those moments, and I want to. Yeah, you feel me? I need that giddiness, that excitement. Let's me know I'm still, I'm still here. I'm not comfortable. Yeah, you know, I gotta, I still have that, that love and that passion for what I'm doing and for the person I'm bringing on because that's what it's about. Uh, with the with the interviews and the guests like that. Mm-hmm. So no, there's definitely those moments because I sure. still get those nerves, and oh, I still get the yeah. like, regardless of like, of anyone's uh, level of of clout fame popularity instagram followers etc yeah it does not matter yeah. i still want to make a quality product yeah. and i'm oh i always get a little giddy which is why when you first came through like we like to kick it for about like 30 45 minutes and yeah. like chill exactly Cause we've, we've done a few podcasts where we just kind of come in sit down immediately like we're not even talking beforehand right. and then like cameras turn on i'm like man we didn't even build a rapport or anything right. like that and just a straight kind of run it motion I, I definitely feel that as well yeah. um I also definitely, like you said, even if I'm setting up, a guest might get there, the timing. Yeah. They get there. We're still setting up. Sure. We're setting up cameras, whoop de whoop And I'm like, okay, well, let me pick y'all brain. How's y'all day? What you got going? X, Y, Z. How do you feel about being here? You know, why'd you want to be here? So That's those questions nice. definitely help. Definitely help for sure. Wow. Mm-hmm. How do you how do you prepare for a guest? What do you do? So as we talked about before, shout out to the uh, my improv brothers in here, like you said. Mm-hmm. I'm, I love being more candid and kind of riffing more than anything, yeah. but I need a little bit of guidance and structure 
especially because the platform I bring guests on, I want to promote them and what they do. Sure. Yeah. So I do have to put on that journalist hat a little bit. And, and you're you're good at it, man. Thank like the you. questions you ask and they're very uh relevant questions. It, you know? And that's the that's the main part. Trying to keep them relevant. You don't want to always keep it cliche, try to keep it too broad, you yeah. know. You could ask any music artist the same thing. You can ask any um creative the same type of process that they go through but trying to gauge it to where it's about them and mm -hmm. their niche that's one of the challenges but after doing this for so long it's it's fun yeah it's, it's more of a a not more of a treat than a trick you know it's like oh i gotta figure this out it's like oh how do i figure this out so yeah. it's kind of one of those things but it's not easy mm -hmm. always at the end of the day because certain people only show so much it's only so much i'm a, like even as a journalist or whatever I only could go off yo the music you put out. If you're an artist, your mm -hmm. Instagram is. If you post your business page, if you know got a brand or you sell product, and navigating that, it's like okay, what do I take from there and figure out what I want to pick your brain about? Because yeah. at the end of the day, certain people you know reach out to the platform and like, hey, I want to come on and and promote myself. Yeah. That's a, that's easier because it seems like you got some motion and I could just let you talk about you. Yeah. But there's also certain people in certain brands. I'm like. I'm very curious of what you do. Yeah. So let me ask you about this and how you come up with your materials or how you source certain products and all that other stuff. So yeah. there's definitely the stuff that goes into it. But I try to keep it loose structured. I yeah. guess that would be the term, loosely it's structured. It's very laid back. For you sure. Got, you got some like really cool segments on there. You got like the rapid wave segment oh, where you yeah. just hit them with back to back to back to back yeah. questions. Yeah. Which is nuts and it's good. You got That's like a so good fun. flow going on too. This is hella fun. Yeah, um you said 110 episodes now, right? Yeah. Something like that. 100, 110, 112, I want to say right now, yeah. Uh -huh. As far as just yeah, overall episodes. That's just mm -hmm. been whew, a, a journey. When you right? say it like that, it's a lot. It's a lot, it's man. A lot. But no, <laughs> I mean it's crazy. A journey in consistency and mm -hmm. quality and not thinking about the numbers all the time and that like part. the love for the project right the love for the project and being able i mean we've talked a bunch of times it gets us to meet some really dope people for example you the and networks whatnot. yeah and you were saying um it's because of your podcast that you're in certain rooms you never thought you'd be in right it's definitely because you know you he did say that you yeah. have you have goals <laughs> <laughs> you know you got goals what you want to do with your podcast and stuff and maybe even certain artists or actors or anybody you want to bring on your platform that you would love to pick their brain yeah and me have kind of scratching that surface like boy i used to like i said i used to slap you on the way to school mm -hmm. in nigga sophomore year that's to go crazy. to like to like we're sitting on the couch and we smoking a blunt together like you know it's kind of that's one of, crazy it's kind of one of those moments mm -hmm. or i'm um dming artists or certain people i'm like bro like i used to tell people about your new album for sure yeah. like and next you know you asking me like oh yeah like what's your availability this shit this shit crazy to me like it's a very humbling thing but it's also a very prideful thing like yeah i, I put in that I, I should be here yes i put in that work to be in this room like yes and you can't act like a fanboy like no. you know like when you see like damn i damn dear used to look up to you but Man, I ain't no fanboy. Like, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm up here with you. Yep. Doing like, it. Yeah, yeah, like I'm doing it with you. Because you like. can appreciate someone else's work and their craft, and but still, at the end of the day, we're just we're two people, right? Absolutely, we're two creators. We're two like-minded individuals. Absolutely, like it's one of those things where people be ashamed to say I look up to you, or like you're my mentor, or mm -hmm. like I fucks with you. Like it's a yeah. crazy thing to. It's a, a, a prideful thing now in today's size, today's society. Mm -hmm. Saying the word "big bro" is crazy to somebody. Like if you my homie and I'd be like, all right, big bro, like they'd be like, mm -hmm. like that, like you sunning him would be like, nah, like I look up to him. I take That's all it is. Exactly. Like I take parts of what he does and add it to my lifestyle and we contribute and probably vice versa. Like I might be his little bro, but I'm pretty sure he learned from me as well. Go both ways. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's uh someone that if you could just think about like one of the craziest people that you want on the podcast eventually, someone that would just like, all right, that's it. Like if I have that person on the podcast, then my life is Ooh. complete donald trump <laughs> that would be that would be great that would be, be great. to, uh, I, to I have that, that dialogue have it. yeah i'm about to say like you said that dialogue mm. i try to pick his brain in a way to get him caught up in some shit mm -hmm. but as far as like a person who if i had him on i could retire i always said look a uh, person who just rappers i am sue and that's like close I am sue. that's what that's somebody in close proximity who yes. i've been working on and, and could happen very soon so definitely chipping at that but i'm, I'm a wayne fan 
So mm. I gotta say Lil Wayne. Mm. I gotta say Lil Damn. Wayne. That's my uh, my goats are Mac Dre and Lil Wayne. So yeah. well, one's hard to book. That's for sure. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just uh, saying. I'm not gonna lie. Me. When you said you're a Wayne fan, I thought Marlon Wayne. I was thinking the Wayne's brothers. I was the just Wayne's like, bro- you want the Wayne's brothers? Marlon, <laughs> Marlon, 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 all, bro, Marlon would be, would be too. crazy. Marlon because I always felt that's my personality. You say the face and personality. My per- Marlon Wayne. Oh, bro. he would be a great. Oh, podcast bro, oh, we, that would be a that four hours that would be a I would even edit nothing out of that episode mm-hmm. just say say whatever you want e- whatever you could but go take a piss and you keep it going l- legit and just let him legit. keep going the, like, the, the piss would be funny <laughs> <laughs> like I said the piss would be funny but uh, Lil, Lil Wayne for sure if I had if I had Wayne on I just literally watched him on All the mm-hmm. Smoke and a couple of the podcasts that's yeah. just somebody who like he was on Tony Hawk's podcast not too long I, ago yep, too I just watched that one with, yeah, with Hawk and so Wolf Tony Hawk has a podcast yeah he does Tony Hawk baby um, Who doesn't? How did you come up with the name? What's What's the wave? What's the wave? Oh, so it was a lot of what's the word I'm looking for? Not synchronicity, but just a lot of alignment. Sure. Mm. My name is Dylan, which means of the sea, son of the waves. It's Welsh. Mm. I just explained that. Check out a day with waves. You I saw that. Volume one. You feel me? Got to plug myself. But it was just kind of like, okay, well, what do I want to do with my platform? I want to promote. Like, I just want to. Promote positivity. That's one sure. of my things. I just want to show love, give flowers, and all of that. And what's popping in my neck of the woods, because that's really what I wanted to show off. How I told y'all beforehand, we grew up with a lot of motherfucking talent yeah. just that we went to school with, worked with, just been exposed to. So I'm like, what's what can I do to show off what's going on where I'm at? And like, what's going on? Well, shit, I'm known as Son of the Waves before the podcast. So shit, what's the wave? Like, yeah. and wave what's was, the wave? it was be- definitely becoming a trendy word. Yeah, in that sure. time space with with social media and stuff like, oh yeah, I'm wavy, yeah, like this the wave, hop on uh-huh. this. So I was just like, oh yeah, perfect. what's the wave? It's it's perfect. Well, it lined up. And for me, when I first saw that, what's the wave is a literal translation of like a Mexican slang yeah. term. They would always when you see somebody, I say it all the time. I go, hey, qué onda? Mm. In Spanish for what's the wave? Qué onda, way? Wow. Like, hey man, wow. hey, what's the wave, dude? What's going on? Oh, we putting that on the shirt, bro. That's, you mean you that have to, yeah, yeah. you yeah. absolutely have to. I thought, I thought that might have been it because when I first saw it, I thought I was like, oh, it's the. I got a trip. little bit of Latino right here. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's a little translation. I mean, I say that every, I say that all the time when I when yeah. I see, especially people that I used to work with when I used to, you know, yeah. be like, hey, get on that way. It's hey, what's the wave? I never that's knew that. Dope hey, as hell. On that way. Like I said, that's going on a t-shirt soon. Mm-hmm. For sure. There no, you no, go. Yeah, yeah. I'll take a nickel was... on every shirt oh, you sell. Bro, <laughs> I, I, I got you on the con. You're going to get a percentage for sure. Uh, it's dope, though, that we know so many of the same people. We the were just talking. circles are smaller than it's we think. Vallejo, baby. You said you knew uh, um, Danny you? Ali. Yep. Shout out Danny. Shout out to Danny Ali. Mm-hmm. You know Yeti, right? Yep. Shout out Yeti, yeah. Because, okay, so I keep good seeing company. that, yeah, uh, yeah, good company. I mean, but if you also don't know good company at this point, then, like, what you doing, right? Right, for If you don't know any of these people i'm so but, glad i know like, good company <laughs> <laughs> but sleep i keep seeing on social media that um you know you'll you ha- you would happen to be at like one of yeti's shows or you you happen to be oh we host one august august 18th baby like oh for real said, yeah yeti gonna be there i know he got a band um propane pro p- mm-hmm. bruh the so this is the third show i got to host with him performing yeah um the first time i seen him was a la russell live box uh, um yep. event a couple years yeah. ago brother i seen him perform by himself not too long ago one of the two events but then this uh this last event that i hosted with shout out podcast breeze shout out fmc vallejo shout mm-hmm. out that wow studios propane they were headlining that motherfucker mm-hmm. killed it really Kip, brother wow i was killed. trying to go to their first show i couldn't make it but kill i mean yeti is such an interesting shout out to yeti watch the episode with mm-hmm. yeti and tiki if you haven't yet shout out um, to yeti Oh, yeah. crazy. The Yeti is someone that we know through improv because yeah, he went where? to Benicia High School as well, and he joined uh, the high school improv team. And he, uh, we knew him not through I that. I didn't know him through high school at all. I had no I, idea he went to our high school. He's way yeah. younger than we are. That's why. Oh, and then gosh. when we uh, <laughs> shout out to Dragon Viper Cobra, our uh, mm. uh, our late um, improv team, he joined that, and so I knew <laughs> him as late. like a, uh, <laughs> I, I knew him as a comedic cat before anything. Me, yeah. me and Yeti were put on the team at the same time. At the same time, yeah. Yeti's, uh, Yeti's an interesting dude. He's an yeah. interesting yeah. I'm, guy. I'm gonna try to get him on What's the Wave soon, uh, either him and or Propane, mm-hmm. but regardless, yeah, that that is a character that needs to be promoted. He's just, an odd guy. 
he, just, his art he, is he's, so I'm crazy. He's talented, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's it's, fucking talented. And all like it's like an octopus. He's like it's yeah yeah. He, his sketchbook he left here since the last time he was on the show. For real? And he said I'll pick it up, and he <laughs> never picked it up. So I just have all of his all have of his artistic. Go- no, I'm not gonna so fuck with like, this shit. Yeah, that's mine. That's me. Y'all need an ICBTB little sketch page up in there. You feel me? That'd oh, be we hard. should. We yeah. definitely should. We're not should. that kind of artist. <laughs> yeah, we're, we? we're not. Are you? You uh, can't doodle. You don't be doodling. I can I, be doodling. Uh, we can. I draw a hell of a stick figure. <laughs> I, I I call myself Doodle King at the job. So <laughs> doodle King. Doodle King at the job. Well, growing up, Shout Doodle out. King was a different thing in my household. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a different occupation. You feel me? But you know, I about to say yeah. Go ahead, draw something up. Because I need lines. Like, I can color in like a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I, I an artist told me I was good at filling space. Wow. So, yeah, you know what? I, I think that's he might have been at. being a dick. I think I said the same. I said I don't know if he's showing me love. He might have been being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like trying to just give me. But something. I'll take it. I'm gonna you know take what? it. You're I, a good mouth breather. I'm gonna take it and <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking to you. <laughs> you do a whole lot of stuff though. Not only are you a podcaster, like I do you a lot. you do a lot with music too. Oh, for sure. I like I love writing. Uh, Shout out my boy MF Day Day. Battle rap coming soon. Yeah, let's talk about that. Battle let's talk rap about. Did you ever like? Soon. So you went to Jesse Bethel. Did you ever do some battle rapping in uh in high school? So, well, you guys had the battle rap underground studio where everyone <laughs> had to take the tunnels down. Yeah, and man, they don't even need to know oh, about that. Oh, you put it out there. You put it out there. My bad. My bad. Yeah, exactly. It's like Fight Club. You got you got to yeah. knock on the door three times. I'll never get invited. I'll never get invited back. Nah. Um. But for music, so it actually happened in middle school. As I went to Solano Middle School. And me and a couple of my friends, we had a legit rap group because uh, one of my boys, his dad was a rapper, local what rapper. What was the name of the group? The name was called B- BMC, Backpack Money Clip. Damn. Were you in a band or a group at all? No, man. I was in a band in middle school. Our band name was Void. Oh, that <laughs> is kinda like... Clean. That's kind of clean, though. <laughs> That's so like emo. That. It's very, it seemed very emo. It's very you emo. You know what? Guitar, bass, and drum Complaining set. about That's your mom and whatnot. I, we had one song. It's on a tape cassette somewhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but that's uh, that was my music career. Shout out Void. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> that's, that's how I go. Yeah, bring, bring the boys back. back. Bring, bring the, the band together. Bring the Void, void back. I think one one guy's like a professional hunter. The other one is like a lawyer. Maybe I'm not sure. Oh, it's great. And it's, I am jobless. You know. <laughs> it's, all right. Talk, talk about BMC. Uh, BMC. Shout out my boy Trey. Um, it was just one of those things where him and his dad, like they've been rapping, they've been doing that. Uh-huh. That was kind of their family thing. And they brought me and one of my other homeboys into the fold. And I was like, yeah, we got a studio. Like, like, do y'all want to mess around? And we made a song, literally goofing around. But it actually turned out really well. Because wow. cause me and my other homeboy took it serious. Like, we don't want to waste y'all studio like, time. Yeah. Turned out well. And it was like, oh, y'all got a group. We finna have studio sessions every week. Pull up, this, that. And we was like, okay. Like, uh-huh. we're 13. We're like, okay. <laughs> like, All right, this, this is what we do now. So now we're rappers and we do it. But... We didn't take it to a place to where, like, we were serious about doing it, like, as a profession or, like, promoting it. We did shows, like, shows in Oakland, uh, Frisco, Fremont. We didn't even do a show in Portland, Oregon. It was crazy. Damn. Like, like, we really did, like, legit rap group. But that kind of fa- fell to the wayside because we didn't believe in ourselves at that point, mm. you know? Like, we didn't know that being a rapper was a thing you could do if you took it that serious. Like, we could be the next— Bobby um, Brown. Anybody, like you said, we could be the next. The he pack. started in a group rapping <laughs> right, with right, a bunch right. of. We could, we could be the next Temptations. Don't the, look yeah. at me like that. The, the next, the pack, the next Odd Future, the next whatever yeah. you feel me. Just at the time, but we didn't see that for ourselves until we just kept, you know, elevating through life, going for through sure. high school and stuff. But yeah. that love for music never fell off. Yeah, never fell off. So. I do it to this day. There was a phase, I want to say, fresh out of high school where me and the homies were dropping Instagram freestyles. Whoa. And like we would just pick a beat, freestyle, or like write a verse to it and tag a couple of our homies uh-huh. and be like, respond. Either on the same beat or something different. Ooh. So like we just post a video. What? And every now and again, like I had a... Uh, you should I, do that to people. I don't... That's kind of like a respond. weird thing to do now. Come, come yeah. on. <laughs> we, we can run it. Come on. Come on. You know we can run it. Response, Gando. But what? like... <laughs> But, like, exactly, like, I'd put on fucking um, the Uchi Wally beat and write uh-huh. a verse and just spit a bar and tag four of my friends and be like, well, who's next? Damn, like, some hip hop Harry, like, really calling people and, out. And, and my boys would be like, yep, give me a week. And next thing you know, they post a video on their Instagram. And that uh-huh. was kind of like a, just a public thing of just showing what we love to do. Yeah. And now it kind of elevated to where a point where I never, ever wanted to stop writing. I love writing music, I love metaphors, I love bars, I live for that shit. So now I'm in a space where I have a platform, uh-huh. and I'm like, for sure, let's do what something do with, with it. it? Yeah. Let's do something with it. So I said something 
loosely, I was like, yeah, who want to battle rap? Son of the Waves, whoop de whoop whoop. And everybody yep. was like, ha ha. And I was like, y'all think I'm <laughs> no, playing. I, I, I was like, y'all think I'm playing. What? So I had to drop some bars with about twin glocks and clips dropping and shit. I and they was like, that, oh, yep. it got people attention. So we're here now. Well, so we're it's here. because of that, that Instagram story that you posted that I was just like, okay. I'm going to shoot my shot right here. Yeah. Let's do a collaboration. Christian loves rap and I love Glocks. In between the two, but it's <laughs> it's, just... I see it. I see it. <laughs> I, I don't I don't write though. I mean cuz like I I'm just I do it for kicks and giggles. It's I just it's improv. Like that. yeah. It's improv. That's all it is. If I were to actually Little write, Wayne doesn't I'm not write really either sure. though, bro. What? Lil Wayne doesn't yeah. write anything Jay-Z down either. Jay-Z don't write. Wayne don't write. Wow, well, Jay-Z just also kinda... just raps what other people write for him though. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the chronic but... Uh, he wrote the Chronic 2001, they, they, and then after they, that, he they, never they wrote it again. They be punching in. They be oh, punching in. I see. Okay. But Lil Wayne legit doesn't write anything when he goes in the studio. He's just freestyling, which I think only makes it harder for when you perform it live. Yeah, so that's the thing with Wayne. They do have to give him his lyrics beforehand yeah. to, to remember his own verses. Because, yeah. I, I mean, if you're because eventually you got to forget. Because he doesn't write it down. He no, actually he never, doesn't physically he never write physically it down. No, no, write no. It. That's nuts. But now that's more of a thing in today's rap game, which is called punching in, mm-hmm. which... Jay Z and kind of Wayne have done, which they say they free, but because when people hear you don't write, they think you automatically freestyle, uh-huh. like you memorize a full sixteen verse and then spit it. That's not kind of what they do. No. They they punch in. Mm-hmm. So for example, I think of a couple bars like yeah 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 I'm I'm so good you can catch me in the whoop whoop. All right, stop there, punch me back in. I'm gonna think of the next bar. Yeah, and then spit it. So they're wow. not writing it, but they have time to think and spit it out. And a lot of artists do that now. That's yeah. interesting. I Shout didn't out. know about that. Because I mean, yeah. even if they're thinking about it the night before and they lay out those 16 bars, that by definition isn't freestyling it in the booth That the way they're selling it, the right. way that we think it is. Uh, it's it's the same thing of like, you know, we've seen improv people. Again, you made that great connection between rap and improv that it's, I don't it's, think it's anybody amazing. ever has before. It's amazing. Um, but, like, we've known improv people who are like, I know these five setups of jokes get people to laugh, and then I can kind of, like, fuck Boom. it from there. Your mm. setups, exactly. That's that's to you. You didn't write them down, but you got them in your back pocket. Yeah. yeah. You know I, you can put them bitches out whenever you I know when you I want. do the Captain Crunch character, everyone thinks it's really funny. So it's like, oh, I got to, you know, that's I'll just go back to That's basically a bar you got locked in your brain. Like, it's a, a, a comedian with a joke. I know I could hit that motherfucker with the octopus joke. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whatever mm-hmm. it is, but I could kind of veer off. And if it might lead to a starfish joke, yep. then I can improv off that. If and this lead- works, and I keep that in. Oh, it didn't work this place. I'm going to mm-hmm. change it. Yeah. With battle rapping, do you specifically, do you write for that? I mean, because. Oh, yeah. You got a battle. That's that's what I love about but it. But what if the person's not who you're writing about? That, that's the thing. You, you can't. Have you have to know your you opponent. Like, uh, that's the thing about battle rap. It's very competitive and it's very like specific. Roast battles. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <sighs> and, and that's what it is. Like uh, me. Shout out to my boy M O F Day Day. But we went to high school with each other. We never was like buddy buddy kicked it like that. But we're good homies. Know enough about each other to the point where. We didn't need homework, mm-hmm. yeah. so we know enough about each other's lifestyles to that we could touch on some stuff. Of course, we reached out and like, hey, what's off limits? I don't want to talk about no, you know, no dead homies, no dead family, no anything. You feel me? Nothing that's going to really make you mad. But battle rap is coming with those receipts, coming oh, with sure. that sure. vitriol, coming like, nigga, I'm getting, I'm trying to embarrass you. Uh-huh. And that's what I love because Man. it has the nature of rapping and I'm a very competitive person. Mm. I'm very competitive, so I'm like, oh yeah, oh you 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 cap on me. I'm kind of scared exactly. now. I'm gonna cap on you back. I'm so. scared now. Okay, oh, yeah, well, because I mean, even I know it's surprising, but there was a lot of rap battling going on in Venetia when I was in high school. And That's weirdly, very surprising. I, weirdly, <laughs> I was in that scene, yeah. and I was just this like fat Filipino motherfucker, like rap battling these other people that are, like right. very serious about the craft, mm-hmm. and I didn't know what I was doing there. If I could cu- find a clip of me rapping, because there's like a few, and they've been broken up by the principal before, because yeah. people would crowd up and right. be like. It's Why? looking like a fighting shit. <laughs> Christian, uh, you're acting, Get like, you're acting Get like this wasn't <laughs> a big staple of you in high school. It was, though, to the point that there were people putting up posters around the school of, like, your rap lines. <laughs> You and have, you're you laughing because you know exactly so you, what you I'm have, talking about. So, wait, this so before, he's playing before it Twitter, down. he had people reposting his rap bars he's around school. He's playing it down, and even downstairs when he was like, yeah, I mean, I kind of like, I'm trying to dabble in rap, but it's like, no, Christian, like, you legit you had bars. call people out, had bars, knew what he was doing, had cadence, had flow, had fans. So a punchline that I had, stuff. Mm. a punchline that I had was, uh, uh, titties look like pancakes, right? And then I, I, I made something on, like, Microsoft Paint. And then I printed it out, and then 
a use bunch of us printed out everything, and people were slapping this. <laughs> this it was everywhere. Titties look like pancakes. Was, was something it, was else. it a certain set of, set of titties, or just in general? Yeah, just... say her name. What? No, 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 no don't, <laughs> don't call her out. No, 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 no. no she no, probably no. got some good titties now. Principal Janus. <laughs> it was Principal Janus's titties. I don't know wh- how it was said. I mean, but yes, I mean there was there was a time period where uh, battle rap was a part of my. I mean, first of all, I was inspired. And you were the king. You would go against people who legitimately were like, I'm going to be a hold, rapper. Hold that crown, bro. The king of Benicia battle rap, I'm nigga. Not like, <laughs> well, if, I, if I could It's if the I craziest could make, title, bro. If That's I could a make fun title. of Christian <laughs> and like, make him feel bad for something, I'll do it. Yeah. But rapping is not one of them that I can do. Because and, legitimately... And if coming from your boy, because I, I got my homeboys telling me the same thing. Oh, like, I, hate, hey, I hate on everything he does. If, if Especially when it comes to rapping, that's one skill... Uh, anybody, yo, closest people will let you know that you were either good or you fucking suck. Yep. Yeah. And if you suck, it ain't. They never gonna let you be like, no, that song was good. No, no brother, mm-hmm. stop. I'm so, not, so hearing he say you good at it, I'm not kidding. There were kids in, in high it. school who were like, I'm gonna be a rapper. Then they would battle Christian, and they're like, I'm gonna go lay bricks. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, do construction. I, I mean, itt tech. He, <laughs> he made people rethink their whole lives. Yeah. It's not because you were like. Just like you weren't, I'm not again. I'm not trying to be a dick, but you weren't Biggie Smalls or anything. Where people no, were like, I'm not. This yeah. guy's fucking got it. But but you he was nice enough. Had enough to like put you something like, oh, oh yeah, I guess I guess Steven's not going to be a rapper yeah. after all. I think yeah, I could never be a professional rapper, but I could I could just make people laugh. I could make observations like if, if and if I could freestyle. If you're not better than me, then don't don't try that shit. <laughs> like yeah, sometimes you got, and that's why I always say about being multi talented. I love saying I could do. He- I'm good at hella shit. Mm-hmm. I'm hella good. I could skateboard. I could play basketball. I could play football. Damn. I could play soccer. I'm hella raw at ping pong. I could rap. You are. Yep. Um, yeah, like yeah. ping pong is one of the things that's that I don't even want to get into that. That's crazy. Um, oh. Rapping, I'm really good at. Um, Juggling, ju- keeping dolphins I can damn near juggle. Water, I can fish. manage people. I work multiple jobs. I grow kids. I work with old people. Mamas love me. Dogs love. Me. I'm multi talented. Mamas love me put, is put, the hardest I can, part. I, yeah. I, can, I, can, I can play volleyball. Batman, I will serve a motherfucker. Like See, he made a fish in front of oxygen. Me. This is crazy. Like, Your resume want, must look crazy. If you want to go fishing, we could do that. I could direct. I could produce. <laughs> I could edit. Like I'm very multi talented, and I had to realize. Like, I love that. I'm a jack of all trades, and I might not be the greatest at one thing, but I could do a lot of things really good. That's yeah. good. I could do a lot of things really good. You mm-hmm. feel me? So you know, you gotta take your pride. You gotta pride yourself on that. I can skateboard. At the end of the day, I wear my shoes loose lace. Like, come on now, not a lot of motherfuckers <laughs> could do that. So you know, little shit. It's like it's little you shit. really know how to sell yourself too, brother. We out here. The way Alejandro brother. was like uh, really selling crack at the beginning of the episode, you can brother, sell yourself. Come on, man. I'm just as good as crack. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, just as, as good as crack. Smoke this. <laughs> Smoke this. <laughs> This is good. Like I said. Smoke his dick. Every time somebody hear what's the wave, they never in a bad mood, just like crack. You smoke crack, you don't never see a sad crackhead. You ever seen a depressed crackhead? No. Same no. thing off what's the wave. I'm crack. You are crack, <laughs> man. I'm, I am now crack. I love that, dude. I'm the crack of Vallejo. <laughs> you, you, you are the crack of Vallejo. And you know Vallejo crack is real good. Hey, Vallejo crack, man. Come on, man. It's no surprise. Yeah. It's no surprise. Man, that's... uh. W- I'm I'm digging this energy. This Always. energy is really nice. Ever since you walked in through that door, you 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 brought this aura with you. I try to man. Um, I want to. Uh, the way we wrap up episodes is that uh, we're gonna do two things because I know you're down for both of them. We're gonna come on, man. We're gonna do an improv One's scene. One's a kiss on the lips. <laughs> what? The oh, fuck? sorry. I'm, uh, my bad. My bro, bad. That's a different podcast. Different, bro. Bro. That's his bro. own solo podcast. Yeah, a different podcast, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's next dude, week. Next week. It can't man. be that dark. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be that. <laughs> hey, <laughs> if people didn't try to get me to start a what's the wave after dark, bro. Hey, and that's where the raunchy shit come in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, eating yeah. booty, eating pussy, what, I, exactly, fuck things, fuck all that. Yeah, people don't know I do every show without pants on. They can't see it through the camera. <laughs> this but is I've true. Never, hey, just... I'm I'm so uncomfortable right now. Y'all, <laughs> y'all, don't, y'all don't even know. You know what? It happens. Hey, just know he shaved. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. I mean, he didn't shave. It just never grew. It's uh, actually the simplest. The uh, hair just falls uh, out. Alopecia. Mm. <laughs> oh. I see you, Jada. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Jada. So Chris Rock's gonna get hurt again. <laughs> all right, so let's go do an improv scene. Oh yeah. Uh, oh. You better have a good prompt for me, brother. Oh, oh see, that's the fun part. Is that there's we don't no, have one. There's no prompt. Oh. Okay, it could be about anything and everything or anything that we talked about on this podcast. Mm. But basically, yeah, the improv uh, improv scene is based out of nothing, man. So uh, let's do it. I'm really excited. You've you done improv before, you said? Like improv scene, like acting, oh, comedy yeah. improv? Yeah, done for it? sure. Uh, high school, uh, college yeah. as well. Shout out to Miss um, Diane. It was like I had a, one of the college teachers who was like, 
what's your major? No, you need to transfer to theater because she's right. like, my class is going to get shut down if we don't have <laughs> enough people exactly. in there. She's like that part too, but she's like, when you're in my class, everybody, you like, you Looks. lift the energy and you kind of set that culture and like, I want you to keep doing this. So yeah, come on, come on, bro. We here. Okay. We do this. Dope. All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it can't be that bad. I didn't impose that thing. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Mr. Steele, oh. and then we we got uh, what, what's your wrestler name, sir? You're you're new to the federation, right? Yeah, man. What's My, your name? It's, it's Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson, just like the singer, but yeah. not the singer. Yeah, but Jack also Johnson. the actor, and also like the actor. Okay, yeah, hey, 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 I know it's a common name. You ain't gotta keep talking. Okay, Jack Johnson, you're yeah. new to the federation. What's your what's your uh, what's your specialty? Hey. Y'all called me here because y'all know what I do. We, okay, all right. We know it says right here, Jack Johnson. Your 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 super move is called the flat pancake. Can you describe what the flat pancake looks Man, like? I mean, is 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 self explanatory. Pancakes are flat. Back, yeah. So when I throw a motherfucker in the air, I try to give him at least three sixty hundred degrees. Three sixty hundred. Yeah. So like they call them flapjacks. I don't understand why. Hmm. Because I I don't think the person who created them created was named Jack, mm. but I took that and flipped it. That's why my name Jack Johnson. Oh, you're Flap Jack Johnson. That's why. Yeah, yeah. Don't but don't leave the flap out. You feel me? Because I ain't flappy. <laughs> so I when put the I, flap my, away. My, okay, we'll my, flap. my move right. I take the person and I spin them. I try to get three hundred and sixty other degrees, mm -hmm. but sometimes it might be you know three forty, three fifty. Okay, okay. You know I spin them, and then the way this, the they land is similar to a pancake. God, real flat. It, it's real. It's real, real flat. flat. Because like you ever land on your back flat? Yeah, I mean like when I throw myself on the bed at the end of a long day. The the air come out your body. Yeah, same, yeah. And the same thing happens to a pancake. Yeah. The it land flat. That's why the bubbles come up. Cuh, 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 cuh. What? Cuh. No, that's the sound. Oh, that's the. That's the sound of the of the pop. Okay. Cuh. So that's why they call me Jack Johnson because the flat Jack. You feel me? I got yeah. It just it's 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 a transfer of energy. You're gonna be real big. You're gonna be real big, Jack Johnson. So right here that we got our uh, we got our biggest heel. Yeah. In uh in uh the federation. I don't we like got, being no heels. I don't like being yeah. no heels. They uh, they call me Mr. Problematic. Mm. Yeah, Mr. Problematic over here, mm. aka Mr. Steel, aka what are your, what are your nicknames? Mr. Steel, Mr. Problematic, Mr. Leave Behind, Mr. Vote for Segregation, Mr. Doesn't Like Anything, like Mr. That. Wants to Have Everything Separate. We could, Mr. We, could, we could do a black and white pancake. Yeah, I think I think do that. Well, I'm excited to do is to be the pancake yeah you know i i know um you know i always lose i'm yeah uh, i mean we I'm could, because we don't, we're not right. for his, his no, vision no, that's his why I'm but here. him being the heel though like mm -hmm. let me let me throw this one out here okay even on the pancake say i flatten him mm -hmm. but he pop up oh, oh okay. now he the cupcake. we could call it the return of the white man do you, no we, i mean no? i'm not i'm no? not really yeah. for that that won't that i think won't it, it fits with my character i yeah. The ret okay, okay. How about the return of Great like, America? Do white people like pancakes? I I think they love pancakes. Oh, how about, I, I do. How I about love. this? How about I, I flatten you out and you pop up like you said, Great America? Ooh, the funnel cake. Oh, the funnel cake. That's there the, we go. That's the funnel cake. All right, like so you guys don't make it in the cake. Your yeah. guys' first match is going to be on Monday. It's going to be Monday Night Raw. Okay, and then, this is your introductory in, uh, into into the federation. You know, so. I ain't going to sign up. If I ain't the main event, I can't sign up. Okay, okay, fine. We're working your way up to the main event, Jack. See, man, my I mean, I've been here ten years. I've never been a main event. Oh, what's your what, what song you walking out to? I'm walking out to uh, Chief Keith. That's that shit I don't like. Chief Keith, that's that shit I don't like. Yeah. Perfect. I that's like that. that's actually really perfect. Yeah. Okay. And every wrestler in the Federation needs a show wife. Who is your show wife? Trina. Trina. Trina's my show wife. Perfect. Damn it. I didn't know that. No, bro. you can't. Well, have no, this her. is Trina. exactly what's no, gonna that, that, be that, that about. So we gonna they left fight over Trina, bro. That's let, what it's gonna be fight. about. Let me flatten your pancake for her cakes. Mm -hmm. Tr Trina's my actual wife, though. Oh, oh, word! Now, I ain't my fault, bro. I ain't want to step on your toes. I mean, well, but I'm actually, sorry. It might be okay right, if I let's, can watch. Let's let's go to Gwen Stefani then. All right, Gwen Stefani. Let's do Gwen Stefani. The sing the singer. Let's do from her. no doubt. Let's do bananas. You want just banana? Is this? Are you re reading your writer to me? You want bananas and Gwen I, Stefani in I, the green room? Hey, bro, we could do bananas. 
I think my, my agent said we could do bananas. Let me know if it's in your budget. No, but my bananas, agent said he'll fight for banana from Gwen. He could you want bananas from Gwen. Stephanie. Like I would fight for her and the banana. Like I thought they'd come together. I mean they're two separate things. I mean, do you, you want So if I get Gwen, I don't get bananas. You can get bananas. The the what 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 question over here for I Mr. just want to go back to something real quick. Does he he gets his own dressing room? He he does. I mean, like he's he, been here four days. I've been here ten years. I still don't. Have, I have to change in my car. I mean, he, bro, you ain't even get my bro no dressing room. I mean, just, I mean, our budget's mostly going to you. I mean, it's Jack. okay because they think because since I'm I'm Jack Johnson, they gave me a flat mattress in my shit anyway. I don't am even I, got bed springs. So am I about to lose you my wanna championship? Use my shit? I think you want to use my my dressing room. Got the flat mattress on it if you want. Am I losing this belt? I think I think you are. You I mean, <laughs> cut to uh, the following week. Uh, the the camera pans out and we see uh, the wrestling ring with the bed in the middle, <laughs> <laughs> in the shape of a cast iron skillet. <laughs> and then we see Jack. Nice. We see Jack Johnson coming out. That's that shit I don't like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that shit that I don't, don't like. like. And All I'm right. coming out with two bottles of syrup, ning. And then right maple behind syrup, him, maple, right behind him is Gwen Stefani with a <laughs> with two bananas. With two bananas, <laughs> That's the shit I don't like. That's that shit I don't like. And, and uh, we see uh, that Mr. Uh, Problematic is sitting at home <laughs> in the okay, living Mr. room. Steel. Mr. Mr. Steel. Mr. Steel. Is, is it E E L or E A L? It's E Y L. That's Boy. why. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Okay. Um, <laughs> We Yo. see he he lost his job and uh, we we lost. cut to him on the in the living room. <sighs> Where'd I put that gun? <laughs> okay, okay, end scene. All right, <laughs> <laughs> good <laughs> shit, man. Damn, fight Jack Johnson with the pancake. <laughs> Where the fuck is that gun? <laughs> this uh, guy's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude, that's improv. What the I, fuck? Right, you mean, got we, it down like on, it's we nothing. Do that, we could do that all day. I like that. I like that scene too. Yeah, that, that was good one. I mean, because we were talking about wrestling, I was like, well, "What better scene to talk about than that wrestling?" Was Gwen Stefani, she wrote that song. It's bananas. Yeah, B A N A N A S. Oh, hey, and um, I, I hella it. forgot about that. I thought you meant a literal banana. Okay, it no, goes with. Well, the she guy. wrote that song because Courtney Love said that um, Gwen Stefani is just a cheerleader. Oh, so she's like, oh, I write a song that has like it's a cheer. Of, it's bananas. I should have walked off. out. That should have been my intro song. Oh, Flat Jack Johnson coming out to bananas. Or, Chief Keef or, was or that. That's Jack Keef Johnson's Keef. banana pancakes. That also. That's works what too. I'm. The exact. See, it's always retrospect with the improv. You know how I go. Uh, we could cut it out and do it over again. <laughs> I'm de- you know, word I, for word. No, I, no, I, Christian. I, I, no, I can tell Christian's itching. He really wants to rap with you. I want to hear oh, you rap. It won't be a oh, battle. Like Let's weeks. just freestyle. We've had Let's like do eight it. weeks of people who don't rap on, and so Christian's Let's excited to have a rap. Let's you rapped with Scando on here? Yeah. Yeah? I was trash. <laughs> Scando. <laughs> Scando killed it. But I'm not good. I was like trash. Said, we're podcasters. Come on now. Yeah, I mean, but we do it. It's for it's for the fun of it. I, uh, I'm going to go play some sort of tight beat. Do you want a... Uh, do you have a particular instrumental that you favor or something like that? Or what do you look I, up? I got hella type beats on YouTube that I got verses to. So I could spit you a verse if you want as well. Or we could we could we could just write and I could just put I'm on, gonna freestyle right put now. Put on Detroit type beat. Detroit type beat. And this is gonna be a written, this is gonna be a freestyle. Uh both. It's both, okay. It's written freestyle. Do I got my phone? Detroit type beat. So I wrote a her a whole verse. I love concepts. I love seeing certain uh dynamics in music. So, my boy Austin, we were fucking around, you know, smoking, chilling, and he set a bar. He said, little brother mad, big brother got spun on. Mm. So, your little brother mad, big brother got spun on. Mm-hmm. So, whoop do whoop We took that bar, and we ran with it. So, nice. I now have a whole verse about Bro Bro. I call it Bro Bro song. Uh-huh. I say brother so many times in this song. Talking about your brother, talking about different relationships with your brother. It's gonna be some double entendres. Let Love me know it. if you get them. So, okay. like, I got the. Hold on, let me pull up the verse. Let me pull up. Let me pull that shit up. After that, we could spit, or you could put on whatever type beat. This is the only. This is the only recent shit I've been working on that I ever want to spit and let motherfuckers hear. I'm Dope. scared. First Dope. time. First time. All right. Damn, I'm gonna have to scroll this whole shit. Let's go. <laughs> hold on. Hey. 
Hey, little brother mad, big brother got spun on. We threw him in the eighth, big brother getting puffed on. Was trying to play catch, big brother didn't come home. I hate to break it to you, big brother is done for. Don't call my mama mama, then brother, we ain't bros. Been down with my brothers, but never then share clothes. Like our parents hooked up, you don't want to step, bro. How you ballin' and he ain't, you ain't even go help, bro. Stay connected to my bros, T-Mobile like Metro. We didn't hit the same hoes, my brothers be Eskimo. Water boy Mafia, my brothers got hella flow. I be too hype, man, like on stage at my brother's show. How you set the whole plan? And ain't let your brother know How you headed to the top And ain't gon' even take it, bro Sniffing up the homie coke How you slide on bro dope Back dough his own mans Why you slide on bro ho He really hella soft, bro That never had a heart But I hit that nigga sis Lil' baby had water park Bitch, I'm son of the waves My bitch brother is a shark Brother off the dog food Lil' brother is all bark Buddy keep a Iron Man My brother is Tony Stark Press that nigga the massage Lil' brother, yeah, that part Reset a nigga system He had to go back to start Really ain't about that action Lil' brother is all talk Goofy lacking in the mall Lil' brother is Paul Blue Brother got a bag, my brother's got shopping carts Disrespect, call my brother to toast you like Pop-Tarts Big charger in this bitch, lil' bro is a Dodge Dart Warehouse like Costco, you brothers is Walmarts Never seen you lit, nigga, your brother is all spark Knock a nigga lights out, your brother is all dark Yo, we popping big shit, you brothers are not farts Yeah! Damn! Ah, this is crazy! Oh, shit! This is crazy! Fuck. Wow! Why am I like this? Good why, shit! Why are we like this, bro? What do you mean, like what? Why are we like this? It was a few stumbles in there, but they'll get it. No, bro, you're good. They'll no, get that, it. that sound sounded great to they'll me. They'll get it. Go, yeah. Go. And there's a bunch of... Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll freestyle to this. You, you want to keep going? Mic? Yes. Okay, well, I'm going. A, I'm going to freestyle. Okay, keep going. I'll freestyle. If not, switch up the beat. I want you to give a fresh beat to freestyle, but he got it. Oh, you want to do a fresh beat? Okay, let's do it. Fresh beat, pick, pick some. I want to do... No, you do what you want. Just scroll down and pick some. Pick the next one. Yo, Dylan, that was dope. That was so good, man. How many, how many times you say brother in that thing? But it's too many. 67 times. Press that brother like a massage. Your brother, yeah, that part. My favorite bar is saying, like, our parents hooked up. You don't want a step, bro. Brother. Damn. Because Step Brothers is one of my favorite movies. Mm -hmm. So that's one's my, my favorite. It's my favorite type of porn. Hey, it's that's great. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> All right. I'm choosing a, a random Wayne type beat. Okay. Oh, he goes. Marlon go. Wayne's? <laughs> Mar Are you talking about Marlon or Dwayne? <laughs> the third brother that's behind the camera. Okay, let's see what it is. Can I get a word? Ooh. Titties. Titties? Yeah, let's talk about some tits real quick. Yeah. Double D's, yeah, yeah, I like them really big yeah. I like them titties big, they just crush me, snap me like a twig Yeah, yeah. hand me that bottle cause I wanna go take a swig Yeah, yeah, give me the blunt cause I wanna get lit off some tits I like yeah. your nipples, yeah. really hit them, they yeah. go ripple And I like to lick them and I hit them, yeah, they jiggle Yeah, they ripple like a wave, like hey. some water hey. Wanna go talk hey. to your mother hey. or your daughter Hold But on. I won't talk to your father hey, bitch, I'm like, Liddy, <laughs> you might catch me all up in your city Yeah, me to find me me a little bitty with some big titties yeah i like them with me i like my fries crispy i like my wings hella saucy like my chicken yeah i like my bitches but double d's gotta fill up they cups like they double shots for me yeah yeah hey it's icb tv and we on the podcast and we got three cameras on us yeah I like them titty milk. I like it when them titties are just soft. This hilt, I like yeah. it when I get the fucking girl on the bed. She yeah. on her knees, give me head. I'm like, damn, is that oh, red? She on her period. Doing? I'm like, damn, uh, girl, what ooh, you doing? Ooh, and I go to yeah. the bathroom, and you know I start yeah. pooing. Then uh. I clean up, she cleans up, then we continue screwing. Hey. And I'm like, damn. Hey. What hey, the fuck you wanna hey, do? It smell like poo poo, girl. What it do do? Yeah. I'm tryna see see girl them boo boobs. Yeah. I'm tryna see both of them C cups. Go and fill them up. Go and put them in the trunk. Throw it up like a sign. I don't care, bitch. I'm tryna sip your titties like some wine. I don't care, bitch. I'm tryna yeah. sort of like some. Uh, bitch, I'm tryna <laughs> swing on your titties like some fucking vines. Bitch, I'm tryna go in between your titties like some lines. Yeah, Ooh. you know it's the best. I'm talking yeah. about your motherfucking titty ass breasts. I'm Breast like, this? I want more. I do not want less. But what the fuck? If your titties was school, I'll take the test. 
I do a squeeze right here. I do a squeeze right there. Then I'll fuck you real good while I tug on your hair. I got yeah. you screaming and uh, creaming. I bring hey. you into the hey. room and I want to go take Hold you on. down and I go boom, boom, hey. boom. Bitch, what's happening? I'm trying to see breasts just like a chicken basket. It's sun yeah. other ways. <laughs> Baby, come and catch a cracking. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Bitch, I'm in here fucking snapping, but I ain't a fucking poet, but you know it. Chilling in here with my motherfucking brothers. I don't care. Need some titties, and you know they fucking going up. Going up. Yeah. <laughs> they going, going up. up. Yeah. yeah. Titties yeah. going up. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. what's up? Yeah. yeah. One time for the one time, I want to see that rack. I said two time for the two time, let me see that crack. I'm like, damn, girl, you got me addicted just like some crack. Yeah. Damn, girl, I want the kitchen, but I'll deal with the snack. I'll be like, let me get a sandwich up in my mother fucking plate. Let me get my dick out so that I could go yeah. masturbate yeah. to your fucking yeah. titties cause yeah. your titties are hella great. Yeah, well just wait because you know what? Baby, I came let late. Let me get your number. Even though it ain't that simple. I like me some titties with the brown nipples. I just want a titty that yeah. don't come with the issues. I want a titty that's make me cry. Just need some tissue. Yeah. 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 I need the titties that's nostalgic. They bring me back to my childhood when I'm around it. And I <laughs> okay. that was a bar. Yeah. All right. We'll call it right there. We'll end this podcast um, because that's a great way to end it. Boy, it's a wrap like a present in this motherfucker. Son of the ways, thank you so much for coming through to the podcast, coming through to the studio. shout out to It Can't Be That Fucking Bad. We're going to bring y'all on. Of course, this is not... This is the start of a great relationship and the start of a beautiful partnership. Uh, I can't wait to see what we continue to produce and come up with. Yeah, Yeah, this this was so much fun, man. This is easy. Wow. This is easy. This This felt easy. It's not easy. It's fun. It's good. It's it's easy. It's great, man. (laughs) It's hard. Man, right. shout Nobody out Mr. Steel, man. Shout out Mr. Steel, Mr. Problematic, Shout out man. to Flapjack Johnson. Gang, gang. Flapjack Johnson, man. Um, Mr. Steel's finisher is the butt face. <laughs> is which butt is face? where he puts his face in your butt. Okay, that sounds like a, you should call it the pink eye. You should call it You should call it the munch. Ooh, yeah. All right, well, look, you guys aren't Mr. Steel. I'm fucking Mr. Oh, Steel. Hey, my, should, look, Mr. Problematic, let's yeah, go. Mr. Problematic, <laughs> let's, let's go. Let's go. All right, Dylan, a.k.a. Son <laughs> of the Waves, plug anything and everything right now. Ooh, plug. Oh. Uh... For of course, what's the way podcast? Yep. All platforms, um, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. What's the way podcast? There's an underscore on some of them. You'll find it when you find it. Son of the Waves. Uh, if you want to follow me personally, that's cool. The personal pages, all of that, whatever. If you like titties, <laughs> follow me on OnlyFans. <laughs> that way, yeah. <laughs> OnlyFans where we pro- broadcast all of the newest, latest rotational fans. <laughs> um, but shout out to ICBTB. Ooh. You feel me? Always. Anything else I want to plug? The Foodie Features, Season 3, coming soon. Shout out Podcast Breed with those. Follow Real Reels Productions. That's my partner in crime. You feel me? We over here to nice. take over the world. Rio. And other than that, man, tell your auntie. Because yeah. this is her favorite podcast. Well, I see. I mean, this might be her uncle's favorite podcast. I don't know what they got going on. But you feel me? Your auntie want to yeah, come watch auntie, me. My yeah. uncles. You feel me? <laughs> uncle might want to see Mr. Steele. But I about to say, your auntie want to come see Flapjack Johnson. Hell yeah. You feel me? Hell but other yeah. than that, man, thank y'all for this platform. Like, share, subscribe, and share. Yeah. Uh, y'all be watching, but y'all don't say shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I be saying. They mm-hmm. see us, but they don't say nothing. But other than that, man, they doing some great work here. And y'all going to see a lot of great work from both of us. Hell Let's get yeah. it. All right, baddies, check out What's the Way podcast. Once again, yes. that's your auntie's favorite podcast. Where the titties at? Yeah. If you're in Mexico, um, type in Que Onda podcast. That's... Yes. What do you say? What, what, what was it saying? Que Onda. Que Onda. Que Onda way. Um, that's right. Que Onda way, baby. You can follow me at Christian Has Asthma, and you can follow Alejandro at Call underscore me Jesus. Follow the podcast at ICBTB podcast. Everything you want and need at ICBTB.com. You got asthma, nigga? Huh? I got asthma. Yeah, I Damn. do got asthma. That's crazy. You talk a lot. Uh, I do talk <laughs> a lot. Oh, especially when I was fat. I definitely had asthma because oh, I was a mouth a, breather. It was mm. funnier though. Oh, he was a... <gasps> <gasps> Just walking up the stairs. I'm just saying, bro. Benicia, bro. <laughs> this is who let y'all let y'all beat y'all in high school. A mouth breathing, heavy set, Pino kid. Wait, yeah. Pino? Yeah, Pino. Pino kid. I'm just saying, Benicia, that's who represent y'all. Filipino noir, yeah. That's what I Come am. on, Philip. I love it. I love it. I I get the heat. You know, no um, Y'all are some mouth breathers, nigga. All right, Dylan, one last thing uh, before we end. <laughs> Look into the barrel of your camera and leave the listeners with a phrase uh, or, or a word just to just to help them go about their day. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm going to think of a good one. 
Yeah, Maya Angelou had the best one so far, so. Shout out Maya. That's my auntie. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, real talk. My mama taught me this one. Mm. And there's still some open meaning meaningness to it. But nothing beats a failure but a try. Dope. All right. Send it the waves. Check out What's the Way podcast. This, this. All right, baddies. Peace out. Bye. <laughs> Can't be that bad.